Hey guys, it's your girl Laura. Welcome to my first plan with me on my official Laura's Bujo channel. If you are here from over on my main channel, then congrats! Um, you have found the new space where we are going to be doing all bullet journaling all the time. I'm so excited to finally have a designated space for all of my bullet journaling and art and inspiration and I'm just so, so excited to finally take this leap. And if you're new to me and to my channel, then welcome. Um, I encourage you to take a look at my channel trailer and learn a little bit more about me and what this channel is going to be all about. But anyway, without further ado, let's get started with this plan with me. So as you guys can tell, I have gone ahead and drafted this with a pencil first. And as I've mentioned in every single video I've ever done, I am not an artist. So drafting things out in pencil helps me to get a more cleaner finished result. Additionally, because I do like to use color, I worry a lot about you know having my markers run or darker shades or ruining lighter shades. So this way I can be more strategic about my color use as well. And I don't have to worry about ruining my uh, brush pens. But anyway, as you guys can tell, I am drawing like a honeycomb. And that's because I'm going for like a bee honeycomb kind of theme this month which I thought was very appropriate for summer and I don't know I just thought that it would be really really cute and it would kind of push me out of my comfort zone but anyway when it when it was done I kind of felt like it was looking a little bit too structured and I like for things to look a little bit more doodly so I added these little doodles of bees because I thought it looked a little bit more whimsical and I just drew like little flying trails and now I feel like it looks much more like something that I would have done you know it's just more my style so anyway I'm just coloring in the little bees right now I think they look so cute they look so happy to be part of the doodle and I don't know I just think it looks so cute this way I'm definitely more of a whimsical doodler kind of thing but anyway I'm still working on all my lighting and stuff like that so I apologize if this doesn't look as clean as my usual plans with me do um, I set up an entirely different area for my bullet journaling and I'm still getting the lighting just right but anyway, after I wrote in the word July, I realized it was kind of getting lost in the pattern. So I thought if I added like a drop shadow in white, that it would help it to stick out more. And I definitely think it did that. So I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. And I'm excited to, you know, continue doodling with this theme for the rest of the month. So right now I am doodling in the word July and that's going to be for my monthly overview page I like to have the whole month for me to look at and come back to whenever I need to I like to do my spreads on the go as each week comes by so when I have appointments or events or things that I need to get done later on in the month I can write them in here before that weekly spread is done now if you know how to do math then you probably realize by now that I drew way too many boxes I have no idea why in my mind I thought that I was going to need seven rows, but I did. Please don't judge me. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is I'm adding like drop shadows and outlines to the July just to help it stick out a little bit more. And honestly, I was kind of hoping that uh, a solution would come to me because I knew that I like once I realized that I had drawn all those extra boxes, I was like, oh, I got to think of something and nothing came to mind. So then I decided to draw another little flying trail that would lead to the quote for the month which is be yourself and I drew a mini little bee on the bottom right hand corner which I thought was very cute and then I did a little bit of some darkening uh, kind of like a drop shadow kind of thing just so that the calligraphy stands out a little bit more and I'll be honest still nothing came to mind so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna write in the numbers of each day and I'll just leave the rest of it blank and oh well things happen but anyway, moving on, I wanted to do the honeycombs again. I thought that they were really, really cute. I thought it was just like a really interesting pattern. Um, and I don't know, I just really, really like how it looks. And I think with the addition of the little bee doodles, it doesn't look as structured or as strict, if that makes any sense. But anyway, this one I'm going to use as my mood tracker. So all these little, what are they, hexagons? Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. I don't know what shape that is. But um, there's 31 of them. And basically as the month goes on, I'll just draw in, you know, yellow for a sad, or I'm sorry, yellow for a happy day. Um, the more mustardy color for like an eh kind of day. And then the orangey for like a bad day. So 
I'm excited to see what it looks like at the end of the month. And then on the right hand page, I am drawing my social media trackers. Now that I have three channels and now that I have three Instagrams, I'm kind of really interested to see how they grow. So the OG ones, the ones that I've had for a while now are on the bottom and you'll notice that the numbers defer a lot. And that's because I've already been building those for a while. So of course my numbers are much different and I'm just excited to see, you know, what growth will come. So moving on, I wanted to do a habit tracker. Uh, this is actually very different from anything that I've ever done, but I really, really like how it turned out and I'm kind of hoping that it'll help me be more productive, but at the same time restrict myself. I tend to be the type of person that bites off more than they can chew. Um, so I figured, you know, I'll select seven areas that I know that I want to work on and I'll just choose, you know, two to four tasks that I want to do on the daily for each of these tasks because honestly I'm the kind of person where if I decided I was gonna do a hundred things that day I would kill myself to do a hundred things that day so I figured this was a good way to kind of restrict myself as well so the seven areas that I chose were me you know myself taking care of myself my family my home main is supposed to be like my main channel my beauty channel my beauty instagram things like that and then of course i've got all my bujo stuff i've got my spanish channel and then i've got my blog so it's very very easy especially when you have this kind of side gig to get lost in it and end up you know staying until four o'clock in the morning redesigning your website or you know just there's always more to do so i figured you know this was a good way to like restrict myself so you'll notice I'm drawing lines now and each two rows is going to be for a different task because the rows are 15 squares each. And I know that there's 31 days this month, but I couldn't think of another way to add 31 days and have it still look nice and neat. So I figured, you know what? I'll have a free day <laughs> and I'll just leave it at 30 so that it looks nice and clean. And I really like how it came out. So moving on, I'm going to do something that I've never ever done before, but I've seen it a lot and I was really excited to try it. And I'm going to do the Dutch door method this month and see how it works out for me. I thought it would be really nice if I had like nice thick black lines to outline it. That way it just looks a little bit cleaner. So I figured on the top left hand corner, I'll have the entire month overview. That way I can always see, I always know what day lands on what day of the week. And I, I just felt like it was a good space filler if that makes sense and then right underneath that I decided to write in my key so that I know you know my tasks and events and things of that sort by the way if my nails look a little bit discolored it's actually because I I tend to put a lot of pressure on the paper when I write so that's what it is they're not discolored I, I promise <laughs> but anyway so I wrote in my days of the week and you'll notice some boxes are bigger than others and I put more time for myself on the weekends because I have a day job during the week so again, I figured it would give me an opportunity to get things done, but not, you know, put too much on my back and stress myself out. And then on the right hand side, I just put a little quote that I can see all month long. And it says, don't just talk about it, be about it, which I thought was so cute. I really thought I was so clever. Now that I think back, it probably wasn't that big of a deal, but I think it came out super, super cute. And I'm excited to see what I do with this Dutch door during the month. So starting from the beginning, here's our cover page. I think it came out super cute. And then of course I've got my monthly overview with my million and a half extra boxes, which was a learning process. <laughs> and then moving on, I've got my mood tracker just to kind of see how things are going and it'll be a good reflection time on how I handle my days. And then I've got my social trackers on the right hand side, of course. Moving on, I've got my habit trackers so that I make sure that I'm on top of the things that I need to be on top of without stressing myself out. And then, of course, I've got my setup for the week. If you want to see my future setups for future weeks as they come up, you guys can go check out my Instagram at It's Laura's Bujo and see how this Dutch door ends up working out for me. So anyway, I hope that you guys you know, enjoyed setting this up with me. I would be so, so interested to see what you guys are going to do with your own bullet journals this month. If you end up recreating any of my spreads, I would love it if you guys would tag me and I will show you guys lots and lots of love. But anyway, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time that I post a new video. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.